So there I was, no place to call home, no defenses, floating on a vulnerable Quetzal sky base and stashing all of my loot inside of it. A position no solo player in Ark Survival Evolved would ever want to be in. I did have a solution though. It was a base location with an extremely small entrance and more than enough space for a solo. All I had to do was gather the resources to set it up as strong as I possibly could, which is why I was crafting structures, not to fortify my sky base, but rather use it for a raid, a raid that would give me those valuable resources. I now realize I should have taken the wood from my Quitzel, but we're almost there. Just a bit more to go. My only worry, and I do have a workaround if this does happen, is that I'm, it's gonna say no more support because of how far I have to build, which personally, I don't think that's... I think I should be able to reach that. I should, shouldn't run into that error. Before this, that was never an issue. Before you could always just, you build as high, I'm pretty sure, as you, you ever wanted. But then Ark released an update a while ago and now you, you can only bolt certain heights and then it's pretty much over after that. Oh, these, these trees are nice. Way up we go. Way up we go. The one error they made with this base, I can pretty much just soak the turrets on the bottom row and I think I can completely avoid the others. I'm pretty sure. Because they only have one pillar that goes down that allows other turrets to hang over. But other than that, well, they don't have anything else further than that. Oh man, this is a scary part. You know what, I'm going to test this with my blood stoker. See roughly where I get shot. Just so I have a better idea of what things are looking like. But very quickly, I realized with the blood stalker, I couldn't exactly control the height. Which is why I shortly after switched over to the snow owl for a more stable tame. Oh, yeah, okay, so exactly where the snow all is, that's how far we can go, and that's exactly why I created the bids, so now we have a good idea of that. And by the looks of things, the turrets aren't on Thames, which is a good thing, because my snow gets to love, at least. But I'm gonna leave it there, just so I know where I get shot, basically. My body right here so now i knew i was at least close enough to begin soaking and after grabbing my body began working on the platform which will allow me to do that which will allow me to do this which will allow me to do that no all right gotta wait another five minutes Yes, it is a tedious, strenuous, arduous process, all of the above, but it will be worth it. It will be worth it in the end. I sure as I'll hope I have no clue whatsoever. God, why do I get myself into this shit? <laughs> why does it have to be this way? The pain, the agony. Oh man, I'm gonna was. Holy... Oh my god. That's not good. Alright, wait. Connect this, connect this. Connect that. Connect this to this. Connect this to this, connect this to that. Now I can finally come up here without this whole thing falling apart. No, I'll just... Oh my, you are not in any condition. Is okay, we, we, we got something. Is this the most scuff raid I've ever done hands down? Yes. Yes, it is. If that just soaked, I'm very happy, man. I am a very happy human being if that just soaked. I think that did just soak. Okay, here's the plan. 
I think I only need to soak those bottom turrets. I'm pretty sure at least. Alright, now we're soaking those above. Might as well. Yeah, I think those are out. Okay. I think I think we might be in this. Might. Big might. Oh, there's one turret that, that has... Okay. There's one turret, I believe, that has ammo. At least I think. Yeah, it's just one. I think. If I can dash... Pause. Like that. Oh, the turrets are still aligned. You just wait, just wait, just be patient. I'll, I'll, I'll place ACC4. Let's go, turn us down. Okay, we did it. Please be loaded. Yes! 400 electronics. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take everything. I need everything right now. Even that Arjun Davis thing. Polymer paste, ARB, electronics. This is what I've been looking for. All this time. Okay, already we made profit. Just of that. Uh, motor pistol spark. What was this last storage box? Woolly rhino cryode. Shotgun more stone. Bunch of flame arrows, gasoline cabling for our new base. One C four. Yeah, so already made back our profit from this raid. I'll take those structures for building. Mm, I'll take those. What is this chemistry bench? Perfect. Oh no. That's bad. That's really bad. My blood sugar is gonna die. No! You've got to be. Oh my. And then. I hate you, Stego. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Oh no, we're trapped. <sighs> Piece of shit, stick will kill my blood stalk. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ha, huh, you can't get me now. And apparently I can't shoot you. And that's why kids, you always uh, use protection and check if they're on passive or not. Oh my god, what do they feed you? We still have yet to get- <sighs> Sorry Bloodstalker man. Sometimes we all don't make it out in these- I mean this was an almost flawless array to be honest. We should get like some sort of flyer cryo though. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, good metal. More paste, a little bit, not insane amount. Nice crossbow BP, shield BP. Hatchet BP and a cryos and a chainsaw. There has to be a flyer here somewhere. The reason I say that is because... How else would this player... Oh, he may have uploaded himself now that I think about it. Or he could have died on his flyer and he logged off rage quit. Uh, is there anything inside that incubator? No. You know what would be crazy? Okay, wait, first I'm gonna try- I'm going to try to blow this. Uh, industrial forge it does have something inside because it allows me to turn it on but yeah it's glitched i don't know why industrial forges are just straight up glitched like that 
But I was saying though, what would be crazy if these were filled with bullets? I would be a bit mad. And these are actually filled with bullets. Not an insane amount, but yeah, filled with bullets nonetheless. Okay, so we accomplished the raid. We lost a man during it though, unfortunately. Oh, and I have an, I have an arthro. Okay, wait. I can destroy the cliff platform and then I can get all the bullets. And I can destroy the industrial forge with it. Alright, I'm gonna do that. I need every bit I can get. But, like, just with this raid, with the things I got, I should be able to set up in a better base location already. Just with this stuff. I had no idea I even had this author with me. Alright, let's check what they have for us. That is so worth. It's not smelted, but we don't have to farm now. Ooh, I'm reaching the other cliff platform. Nice. I think I'm hitting both. Yeah, I'm hitting both. Perfect. But it's clear one will drop before the other, but I have a plan for that. You know, before something bad happens, though, I do think it would be a good idea to take care of these. Oh my god. Oh, this has gone to hell very quickly. Okay, wait. Have it lock on to me. Alright, there. Also, don't want to get hit by the carbo. <laughs> Imagine dying to the carbo, it gets all my loot. Oh, um, this guy logs back on. Oh, man. <laughs> Knowing my luck, that is not a far... A far fetch at all, I'll tell you that much. Alright, just add a bunch of berries. Yeah, hey, Arthur, you are a wild one, I'll give you that. You know, so now this one will just drop. We'll get whatever bullets from the turrets we didn't soak. And then... We'll just drop this one as well. And then we have a snow owl which we can use to grab the rest. Perfect. Alright, now the big question is, will the bags float? Drop to the ground or just go invisible? Some float and some hopefully drop to the ground. Hopefully all these drop to the ground and my life just becomes easier. Because I'm pretty sure those two bags that I see right there are from, are like, one or two bullets that were inside a turret. Because here we shoot four and if there isn't a number that's divided by four, say they not 12 bullets, so the heavy will shoot 3 times, but instead there's 10 bullets. Heavy's only gonna shoot twice, and then there'll be 2 bullets left over, so... I think that's... I'm pretty sure that's the case for those over there, but I guess we'll see what happens to these. Alright, here we go. It's about time. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the bags would have had to have fallen to the ground, hopefully. Oh my god, I thought I was pretty... I had my... Uh, Finger above the hover key, well, not the hover, the, the hop off key. Not the pa I was trying to press parachute instead of a hop off, but I don't quite see any bag. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at our condition. This is how you know you gave it your all in a raid when you come out looking like this. Don't even have legs. Oh no, we do. Yeah. That's how you know you've been through it all. As for... <laughs> look, literally everything we have. Our Snow Owl, us, the Arthro, all one shot. So I'm pretty sure these things just disappeared. I mean these... What? These two bags, I guess they're worth checking as it's all we have to show. After spending so much time destroying two metal cloth platforms with an arthro. Oh no, okay. Oh, okay. That was worth. Yeah, let's go. Apart from losing my Bloodstalker, this raid had everything I wanted. And upon arriving on Extinction to begin building my new base location, I had come across this stone base. But having no C4, couldn't raid it. So instead, continued over to my base spot. 
All right, we're here. Look at this entrance, boys. What a small entrance. And then we just need... Well, to begin building, we're gonna need... These and those. I guess my inventory is glitched because I'm almost slot capped on basically a bunch of everything. Boom, can I have turrets on there? Turrets on there. Basically, yeah, so turrets on each one. A bit actually more cramped than what I expected, but we'll just have to make do as we always do. There we go. And then I think generator, we can run cables from up here, down. Generator, I'll just place in this corner, to be honest with you. Ooh, okay, it's always nice just to get those turrets down. Alright, so at least if someone comes crawling in here, we have two heavies that are gonna light them up. Let's go. Let's start adding more turrets though. Okay, so now we at least have turrets watching the entrance and... Well, a very poorly made, uh... Death wall. I still got a lot to add to it, but... You know, this is what we're dealing with for now. And... What we have, until I at least get the crafting station up and running, it's just what we're gonna have to make do with. Okay, I'm not sure if my bloodstalker can fit all the way up there. Oh, I wish I had a normal crops right now. But we'll make do. This is a little... Okay, my bloodstalker can't go all the way. But yeah, this is a like, little spot here. I want to toss out my stegos, which I have a, quite a few of them. Uh, yeah, this is one of them. Will they be able to fit in this area? Hmm. Looks like it's gonna be a bit of a mission. One thing I didn't take into account was how narrow the space location actually was. And the area I was trying to fit the stego could only fit one stego, not anymore. But that didn't necessarily mean I couldn't build multiple floors to accommodate for them. And with my crafting station done, I made the explosives so that I could do that raid. Alright, here it is. <laughs> Finally an easy raid after all the other raids we've done we get something a bit easy We we we've needed this after everything we've been through That seems like the game just doesn't want me to raid it though Okay, there we go Okay Interesting, uh, okay, I'll take that Yep Indeed. Far part is... Okay, easy metal. Easy metal gains. Yeah, th this base we've already made our profit very easily, very quickly. Back. I'll just take all of that. Far more than what you'd expect from a stone base. And with the profits, I returned to make even more upgrades. Okay, so now we have a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 heavy turret death wall, which is the most turrets I've actually had this entire wipe so far. Main reason of course being having to move every single other day, but hopefully we'll be able to live in this base location that much longer, is at least the goal. As hard as it may be to believe due to my past experience this wipe, I really had a good feeling about this base location. As for the stegos, I made a floor for them and just needed to get berries so that I could begin raising some. Beautiful. And now we can get berries. <laughs> a dodo. Using the dire bear, I was able to get more than enough, fill up my trough, and could finally raise my first few stegos. Ooh, is this a... Here we got a mutation. Uh, that's the bad HP, for sure. Oh, well, we got cool... Wait, where do we show ancestry? 
I'm not sure which one counts as co co color and which one is like actual stat, but yeah, I guess it doesn't matter because that's the trash one. And then yeah, this is our good one that we can use to soak with. Oh man, it's so sick that we actually have an idiot that we can breed and you know that sort of thing. Love it. Love to see it. When it comes to the solo life, you rarely ever get the privilege of space. And although this was quite cramped, compared to what I'm usually used to, was luxury. Now, to ensure that I could actually keep this base location and not get evicted, if you do recall, at the very beginning of this series, I was able to sneak into a boss fight and get ticked here. But since then, haven't made any progress towards it. The problem I faced was once again resources as I had spent quite a bit building up this base. So again, to get even more, I looked for raids. Yeah, found this raid over here. I don't think I need a stego for it. At least I hope not, because that will be a pain. Like that other raid, but... They have... Okay, so it's turrets there, gen there... Ah, oh, there's even more there... Do I have a backup gen? Oh no. Oh, so that gen only powers those turrets. So the way I see that I am able to pull this off is by bypassing those turrets at the bottom, not even trying to take them out or anything and just going straight for those at the at dam okay to give you a bit of understanding i recreated the base on my single player world you see they had a few defenses at the very front and just past them the generator that powered them however they had a few more inside but that generator didn't power those it was another that was directly above them and protected by metal structures so if I wanted any shot at getting into this base, I'd have to deal with the turrets inside first and turn off the gin to disable those defenses on the outside. Alright. Oh man. The one thing they did do is mess up with their hatch frames. They've sort of placed them inside of each other, which you don't normally wanna do. Let me just get another another good look. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to skip past all those turrets at the bottom and just head for the top. Well, take out those two turrets at the top. Because if I can do that, then I can shut down the generator for the turrets at the bottom. Now I have to find out where would be the best place to execute this mission from. You see, what they do with their hatch frames, they placed it. Okay, but I guess it doesn't. No, it sort of does matter a little bit. This is coming from the far side. If I come from this side, I have more distance to travel and I have to go past more turrets. If I come from this side, that's the entrance right there. And then. The closest I'll be to that entrance, or well, the closest I can get without getting shot to that entrance, would be roughly about here. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's give this a go. Oh, what they almost forgot. What thing that's very important. Importante. You always want to do this. Equip your rocket launcher and then hop on the PT so you have it pre-equipped for the mission at hand. Alright. Let me just envision myself doing this. Pulling this off. Got that little adrenaline rush going through. Alright, alright. We got that rush going through us right now. Got a visual on the turret. Oh! What? Um, I think I, I made it in maybe? But I didn't at the same time? 
The good news is the PT survived. I just need to get some food to heal it. I didn't make it in, but rather smashed my head on the bottom of that cliff platform. And because of it needed to get meat to heal the PT when I came up with this idea. Okay, so the plan, I mean, is just gonna be to hop off the get in there with the blood stalker and then rocket those two turrets. And I need to shoot a web like there. Oh no. However, the problem with this plan, I needed to be precise, and even then, whenever I got shot, it would send me straight down. And this didn't just happen once, but multiple times. So it was back to the PT. Alright, and then this time I'm not gonna rock uh, first person. I think first person makes it a bit harder to see what exactly what's going on. I mean, it does. Third person, much easier to see. Uh. Let's go for it. Turn off the gym. Nice, okay, just turned off. Alright. <laughs> That's all that matters, we got the gen off, okay, let's go. Woo! We took out the turrets and turned off the gen, because if we didn't turn off the gen, well, we'd be in a problem, because we still couldn't get in with our bloodstalker. But at least now, oh yeah, that's our quit, so it's still up and running. So that's a good sign. Okay, all I had on me, I had a rocket launcher, but that's fine. I can always get my body, I, I need to take out the player now and get beds. That's the most important thing. That was actually fairly flawless. Yeah, look how hard it is, even with the turrets of light. I don't, I don't think the bloodstalker could have. Yeah, so if I didn't make that, yeah, if I didn't make that, I just straight up wouldn't have made it at all. Okay, I think that other pteranodon is gone, which is a good thing. If I blow this up, it's just gonna straight up blow up the... What's it called? Oh no, it didn't blow up the ladder. Okay, sick. We also killed the player. Is he dead? Yeah, that's him. Can you find your forge? Punch of charcoal, which I do need to make more gunpowder. So I won't even have to worry about smelting charcoal, which is nice. I want to save the, the best for last. Okay, let's see. That's the generator. Okay, so that's not the best. Smithy. We got a we got a fridge. We got a fabricator. Oh, my rocket launcher. Oh, no. I have another rocket launcher. Yeah, I want to save these the C4. Alright, so let's do mortar and pistols first. Oh, my. Okay, let's go. That that was the lo loaded mortar and pistol. Let's check Smithy next. Let's see what we have more shoots, which I now have a lot of at least. Bunch of stone. Okay, more grapples. Hide. The metal. Alright, sick. Refrigerator. Cryopods. Okay, so we don't get any tapes out of this. I'll take the berries because my stigos are probably gonna want that. It bought PT eggs though. To replace. So we got two PT eggs, I think. Yeah, so we replaced the one we lost. Take all that meat for raising those types of tames. Alright, fabricator. Here we go. Be loaded. Oh, yes. We made back. We made back whatever we spent on this raid and more. And the reason why I'm uh, I want to conserve my C4, you'll see in a second, I came across something. Oh yeah, while searching for raids, I found something interesting. So after collecting all of the ARB inside and outside, I headed over to check it out. Yeah, so this was that base I saw the other day with all the wyverns, but today I noticed there aren't any wyverns around. And then I found this vault as well, but it's locked and they didn't blow it up. So this could actually have some insane stuff because these guys... Well, these guys have a fat tick uh, turret tower just outside there. Which they use for their tames. So who knows 
what could be inside this vault. Um, maybe they had other vaults in here, or maybe they just didn't have enough explosives to take these out. Either that, or the other vault that they did have in here just didn't have any items, and so... They just decided to stop blowing up, I guess. I might want to destroy this metal floor because I think the vault spag might go into the terrain. There's a chance of that, I feel like. No! Ah. Uh, okay, so I guess maybe they had a bunch of vaults and all were empty, which is why they just decided to leave that one. That was the most logical explanation I could come up with, but even then, I was still up from the raid. So with all of the resources combined from it and my base, I could get tech, but just needed the element. So I headed over to Crystal Isles to tame a wyvern, leveled it up by killing one of the beached two souls, and the reason for this was so that I could actually do an element vein. Let's go. Right, I'm curious to see how much element we actually get out of this. We actually managed to pull it off with a level 100 freaking. What's it called? Oh, why even? Let me just leveled up a bit. Okay. What's how much we got? 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. We need like. Another one, pretty much, yeah. So I sucked it up, doubled down, and ran this element vein until... Oh, that is not good. It wasn't good not just because I was getting counted, but the fact that I had no stamina. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, that's someone's wyvern. Oh! Please do not. I'm the pay, I'm the pay. It is not worth losing this all this element that I got right now. How much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus that 126. Oh, wait, this guy's wyvern is just... If my wyvern was high health, I could try to pick his giga, but look how low my wyvern is. It would just be... Stupid. I was saying one thing, but my hands on the keyboard and mouse were doing another. Oh no, that's not good. No! Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna dip. This is stupid. Oh. Yeah, I'll just leave the vein. I, I got most of it, but... It's just too risky, because if he picks this wyvern... Oh, he picks me. Or he just bites this wife and it's gone. And that's my escape route. I at least got enough to make a replicator. Which is super good. Yeah. So I at least can make a replicator. And then... I could make turrets, but then I just don't have enough yet for the gin. But I could farm that. I think I could just... Should I rock do it? I'm not sure how effective that would be. Or... This. The the lamppost. I'm not sure how effective. It could be worth it. It could be could be the move. But yeah, that if my wife was high health, I'd definitely take that fight, but unfortunately that is not the case. But I will have to find another way to get that element. And the myth that I decided on was the Doed and RG, heading over to Valgueru to tame both the Doed and RG and use it on the lamppost. Alright, that's one uh, lamppost. How much do we get? 
Hmm, a third. I did not need to level up weight that many times. A third is not bad at all. Because I already had quite a bit of element, I'd only need a few lampposts. Hmm, oh, I think you gotta go to those terminal things. Now I knew exactly where to go, but because I was lazy to head back to base to grab the right tame, I decided to do this. Alright, Wyvern. Get us through this. Come on, we're almost there. Just a little bit further. No, Wyvern! Oh my god. The problem with this, I'd occasionally land on top of the Wyvern, taking a bit of fall damage. But with the last bit of health left, I was able to make it. I'm just gonna cut it. Oh. Okay, it's chilling down there. What's my HP? Or are we healing? Ah. Oh. Well, we have a replicator, but it's one thing to have this. That's a bit scary. It is one thing to have this replicator, and it's going to be a total other thing to get out of here alive with it. I could have made this so much easier on myself by just bringing a Bloodstalker, but... Yeah. Now with such low health, I couldn't do my previous method, so I did this. I think this works. Sort of. Oh, wait, what? Ah, oh, trash. Ow. Trash. So close. We made it out. No way, okay, let's go. And to think all of this could have been avoided had I just taken the Bloodstalker. Regardless, I now had the replicator and could upgrade my base to tick tier. Damn, this thing is massive. Alright, there we go. It's the big boy. And with that final turret place, I had now successfully upgraded my base to tick tier. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, I couldn't enjoy it. But I do hope you went on to enjoy this series, and if you did, make sure to check out this video where I built in a hidden cliff sky base, or this one where I built a hidden tree base in Ark.